slowed down now, still right-hand lane, passing through 38th. He's going off-road just north of 38th. He's going off-road just north of 38th. He's about 100 yards off the road going uh, eastbound. Coming up to the fence line now. I just wrecked into the fence. White male, gray shorts, gray shirt, running eastbound. Um, it's going to be behind 3604 27th Street East. We need to get units out there to 27th Street East and lock that down. Canine, the back door is open. I believe he went inside that house. It's dogs come in. You're getting bit. I'm booting this thing. Back. Continuing coverage tonight after one student's quick action led to the arrest of another student who made threats to carry out a mass shooting at one of the Palm Beach State College campuses. Tonight, law enforcement and college officials are raising awareness about the importance of saying something if you see or hear anything suspicious. In this case, the student read the threats online. CBS 12's Lee Ortiz joins us now outside the Lake Worth campus with more on why they believe this may have saved so many lives. A Palm Beach State College student notified the school last Thursday about concerns regarding another student who made alarming posts on a website. The next day, Palm Beach County deputies arrested this student, 24-year-old Saul Jean, accused of threatening to commit terrorist acts at one of the campuses. While the student who called in the tip wishes to remain anonymous, their story will be passed as a heroic one for using the See Something, Say Something school initiative to help save lives. We applaud you and thank you for saying something and for your quick actions to safeguard our Panther community. Deputies say Jean posted on change.org about the best locations to carry out a massacre. His uh, threats were uh, summarizing that um, he felt that the federal government was watching him. He had some paranoid statements made and that uh, he was going to carry out a massacre and that he was uh, making homicidal and suicidal statements. and. Uh, suggested that if other people wanted to carry out a, a massacre or a mass shooting, that they should visit a beach, that a beach would be a target for them. Gene is even accused of saying he was not going to go quietly. The suspect was taking classes at the Boca Raton and Lake Worth campuses, yet Sergeant River says it's unknown whether his threats were aimed at one specific campus. One of his posts was that he posted his bank account balance, stating that he had enough money to purchase a firearm when he was ready. Gene has had several run-ins with law enforcement in Miami-Dade County, from trespassing to battery. Officials warned there is a growing trend of school threats right now and says it's more important than ever for students and staff members to report any suspicious activity on awareandcarepbc.com, a site they say was created after the Parkland shooting. In this case, I'm never more convinced uh, that this case saved lives. Gene was arrested for threatening to conduct a mass shooting on school grounds. He is being held on a $1 million bond. Two men are facing attempted murder charges in the Jacksonville area after a road rage incident led to two shootings, injuring two girls. Investigators say William Hale was driving when he got into a shouting match with Frank Allison, who was driving another vehicle. Both men had children in their cars. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Deputies say the two were driving erratically and brake checking, slamming on the brakes in front of each other. Investigators say someone in Hale's vehicle threw a water bottle at Allison's vehicle, and not long after that, shots were fired. A five-year-old girl was shot in one car with minor injuries. The 14-year-old was shot in the other car. The teen went to the hospital with a collapsed lung. Both men have since bonded out of jail. There's no word on when they are expected to appear.